Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for September 29th, 2020. I'm going to apologize right here that this video is going to be a little bit late. I just recorded it and my software failed on the recording, so I am re recording this this morning, which makes this a little bit late this morning, and I apologize. So I'm going to be quick on this video. Let's take a look at what's going on. We kind of have a market that is giving us a little bit of hmm in the market nice little rally yesterday providing a little relief but what does that mean for today well how about we settle back grab ourselves something to drink and let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the morning market prep video so this morning we have futures a little bit mixed Asian markets overnight a little cautious little mixed European markets are a little bit soft this morning going south a um, little bit of pullback and we have our futures just kind of mixed they've been dancing around here they were up last night then they were down this morning and we have a little bit of mix going on in the market so what does that mean for this well we got that situation where just a whole lot of hmm what do we do here first we have that market that's rallied up strongly which was nice to catch a nice relief but i want you to notice that we really don't have any price support under here we could easily get that swing and there'd be really nothing to stop us from potentially dropping all the way back down and if you remember we have that similar situation that we saw right here we were pushing into the downtrend and pushing into a price resistance level and then we swung back south. Um, keep in mind, we have the same situation here where we've got a fairly significant level of price resistance in the chart. We've rallied back into the downtrend and right into price resistance, um, causing us some trouble. Not only that, but we have a 50-day moving average here on the chart that could create a problem here for us. Now, keep in mind, TC2000, this candle right here is showing us the candle for this morning's price action it is the pre-market price action it's not the candle from yesterday this is the yesterday's candle and as we push and test around this 50-day moving average we want to keep a close eye on the fact that that 50-day moving average has flattened and potentially rolling over so watch that carefully as we push that resistance so we have that dilemma going on do we let the fear of missing out force us to buy at price resistance or do we hold to a set of rules and say wait that's right at the point where we could fail before this becomes good we need to either get some proof that we can break through hold it as support and then see buyer step up or we need a consolidation up here and then see buying those seeing those buyers step through remember we can always go three directions up sideways or down and right now we've got a lot of confusion as to what that is a lot of uncertainty as to which way this is going to go from that resistance level in the chart let's take a look at the spy spy very very similar situation fighting with that 50-day moving average that 50-day moving average starting to flatten out and possibly roll over price is pushing right up into price resistance in the chart and although if you draw the downtrend like this we have broken the downtrend notice we have no support between here and a test of that downtrend to hold us so kind of keep that in mind we could slip all the way back down in here which could make for a painful trade if you jump on that at price resistance and I got to tell you guys one of my biggest problems when I was learning um, this craft as uh, as a trader is I would perpetually let the emotion of the fear missing out get me into a trade and I would buy right at price resistance right before it would pull back and I had this complex that somebody had to be watching me because every time I pulled the trigger on the trade it almost immediately pulled back and I can tell you guys that is a symptom that you can cure that is a problem that you can cure if you stop buying stocks at price resistance keep that in mind let's take a look at the cues qqq qqq also has the best chance has the best chance of moving us higher because um, the big tech ha um, have having so much weight in the indexes if the big techs continue to rise they can lift the market really on their own and you can see we've had three strong days up but let's point this out a possible hanging man 
on that break of that 50 day moving average and a resistance level here in the chart that we're testing. So don't be too surprised if this has to rest or pull back. We need to see a higher low in here holding that 50 and then see those buyers before we jump into the trade or we run the risk that this could certainly swing all the way back lower with the volatility that we've seen in the market. So be kind of careful. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM also in that little bit of a concerning point. Two big days higher, that was nice, broke through the 500 day moving average. But let's take a look up here. The challenge that we have, still the downtrend, the price resistance in the chart, the 50 day moving average above, our shorter term averages pushing down, creating a level of resistance right in here that looks to be relatively strong. And that possibility that we could pop into there and then just find that reversal back to the downside. So watch that close. The VIX just continues to be perplexing. We had a 500 and some point move in the Dow yesterday and the VIX pulled back like nothing was happening. Pulled back, held the 50 day moving average and ended up rallying off of that by the end of the day. So a lot of uncertainty here in this VIX. I'm not exactly sure what this means. Um, holding above a 26 handle as we're trying to push out to new highs. Um, in the market or break down trends. Just doesn't make any sense to me. So um, watch that close. If we take a look at T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio, this is that all or nothing market that just drives me crazy. Um, we, we were down here yesterday in the oversold condition and this big gap up morning, big sweeping move that really doesn't have a whole lot of energy after the gap pushes us all the way back up here where we're testing the upside here of a overbought condition all at once. All or nothing is where this market is, which tells us that when we gap that big and move that big and then don't really see any bullish follow through, so to speak, that we have that potential. We push up into here even a little bit more that we could drop all the way back down in that um, in that next price action of the chart. So we're back up here in that reversal area where we want to be watchful and be careful of that market. And by the way, it's an, it wouldn't be unreasonable when we rise that much in the market that we get a little rest or pullback. So um, don't be surprised if that occurs today. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. And we do have some stuff on that economic calendar we're going to want to pay attention to. Pretty interesting stuff, actually, that where we could get some pretty big price moves out of. Kind of take a look at um, the goods trade. Um, our our deficit looks like it's going to increase this morning. Uh, consensus estimates is looking for a bigger trade deficit on that move. So watch that. That could be and have a negative effect on the market. Then, of course, we have the case Shiller report. That is showing consensus that we should see some bullish action. Housing has been good. So that may offset a little bit of the goods number. And then keep in mind that we have a virtual parade of Fed speakers today all day clear into the close of the day lots of fed talk going on and we still have that consumer confidence consumer confidence is expected to tick up just a little tiny bit but i gotta tell you with coronavirus and all the uncertainty out there with the election wouldn't be a surprise to, for me to see if that actually pulls back a little bit so watch that close could move us around we'll want to be on top of that this morning let's take a look at our earnings calendar we've got about 11 companies reporting earnings but I could really only come up with three that are even somewhat notable today let's take a look at INFO INFO a pretty interesting pattern in here with this big W formation forming in here but this candle would suggest that we've kind of had a little disappointment on the earnings front popped up first thing on that earnings we're pulling back this morning from that and let's watch this level right in here should we hold this the center part of that W 
as support port in here, we could easily see that higher low get created and start breaking through to uh, the upside. So watch that close if that can hold. Let's also take a look at MKC. MKC apparently disappointed this morning. Uh, this candle is showing the price action on the earnings report. Popped up, pulled all the way back. We're testing this low down in here. Obviously a pretty ugly reversal type candle here on McCormick and um, possibly some more lows coming. So watch that carefully. It looks like it's pretty volatile. And last but not least, our biggest tech company today is going to be MU. We'll wanna pay attention to this one. MU recently has rallied back up into this resistance area in the chart. It's been trying to put in this little upside trend, a little higher lows, and we're running into that resistance. So we might just need that earnings report to make that decision. Are we going to pop higher or break lower? Can't really tell you there, but we'll want to keep an eye on that later today. So watch that MU report. Let's take a look at a few stocks that are setting up. But before we do that, everyone, if you could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you wouldn't mind, click those thumbs up, thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment if you felt like this video was useful. And also, click that share button and share this video out on um, Facebook or whatever social media platform that you use. I truly, truly appreciate it. It helps us to continue to grow. Thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that. It means the world to me. You guys are awesome. So how about we look at some stocks that are setting up? I'm sorry if I'm going so quickly this morning. Um, trying to make up a little bit of time here, I guess, um, from that failed video that I first recorded. But let's take a look at some stocks that are setting up. And remember, this is not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. It's part of the education I provide. Everyone should do their own due diligence. Make sure you consider the risk carefully of every trade that you take. And remember, it is never, ever a good idea to blindly follow someone else's trade ideas unless you understand the up in the risks involved. Let's take a look at Costco. Now, I got to tell you guys, I have a bias here now because I did buy Costco. It was in the morning video yesterday. I suggested that um, nice little hammer pattern. If we got a follow through, there might be an opportunity here. I ended up buying this with a bullish put credit spread. Ended the day positive, um, had a nice little profit in the trade. And I went with a bull put credit spread because I don't have tremendous confidence in the overall market condition. That chance that we could swing back down in this market and see a little bit more selling pressure. I also noticed that this trend, we may, after breaking back through here need a little bit more rest sideways move in here before we build enough energy to break on higher so plan that bull put credit spread where I can make a nice profit in that even if we just kind of drift along here sideways in the market so take a look at that it's looking pr relatively bullish here um, uh, and note that I do have a bias on that trade if you guys remember um, I have been mentioning um, FedEx for some time, um, also UPS um, in these charts. FedEx continuing to show lots of strength here, pushing up um, off of my alert here, looking very, very good. We also wanna take note of the fact that we do have a significant level of price resistance in this chart. But what I like about this these charts is the story moving forward. Um, COVID is certainly creating an awful lot of online sales and I expect holiday sales to be tremendous this online and as we push into that holiday season we could see these shippers just do extremely well hit new records of shipping um, in the the months forward so keep a close eye on that FedEx could certainly pull back in here bounce around move out to this trend but let's watch that carefully anytime this could really continue to kick up higher and move on through those resistance highs in the past and also UPS UPS had a nice day yesterday it gapped up um, based on an upgrade 
and uh, then ended up pulling back the rest of the day. But let's keep an eye on that. This still has to, after breaking through this resistance level, it may still have to come back and test that level, bounce around over here to trend before it moves higher. But keep a close eye on UPS. Pretty good story in both of those shipping companies that you might want to pay attention to. With holiday shopping in mind, it was kind of interesting yesterday to see so much price action in retail. As you guys know, I already talked about Costco, but we've got um, Target. Target had a nice move yesterday, breaking through some price resistance here in the chart. May have to pull back. Notice our trend in here may need a little bit more rest up in here before it continues to move higher. But take a look at Target. We all, we've also had Dollar General um, showing good bullish signs, breaking through resistance. Now, this price action has been a bit whippy and choppy in this market pullback, but notice we've really resisted the pullback um, in this chart, breaking through those resistance levels. Perhaps a rest is, is needed in here, a little bit of rest or confirmation of these blue sky breakout highs, but then watch for that opportunity that this goes on higher. Saw a lot of retail um, moving up like um, AEO, AEO um, moving up into some price resistance, retesting breakout high potential points in the chart. Uh, GPS um, trying to push back up in toward resistance levels. We'll want to keep an eye on that. A lot of retail was moving around yesterday. Um, Keep an eye on it. There may be some opportunity. Starbucks is another um, retail uh, type store um, working up here. Notice we've got a downtrend going on in this chart and we're pushing up to test that. We've also got higher lows. So what we're doing is we're building this wedge in the chart. And if this continues to slide around in here, um, it's going to have to make a decision here eventually whether it's going to break through that upside or break through that downside. Keep a close eye on Starbucks. Starbucks. Maybe a good story here. No one's going to stop drinking their coffee just because of COVID. So keep a close eye. Could start moving around. So guys, I'm going to break this off um, right here just simply because I'm um, going to be late with this video anyway. I want to wish you guys a great day. Wish you all the best in your trading. We'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning for the next market, morning market prep video. And I wish you all the very best today. Take care.